One important part of circuit wiring for most applications are microswitches. But, when you first look at one, you may not understand exactly how to connect it properly. So today, I'll show you how to reliably attach it to any system that you want. First, some information about a microswitch. In a circuit diagram, they'll often look like this. Three circles with a line going in between two of them. This one here is called the common, as it is the one that electricity will always flow through. Then, these two here are called the normally open and the normally closed. When the switch is in its resting position, the normally closed is connected to the common. When pressed, the common connects to the normally open, but springs back after it is released. If we take this over to real life, there are two types of microswitches that you will usually encounter, miniature and subminiature. There are other types, but the process is the same regardless. If you look closely just above the soldering tabs, you will see that there are some letters. One should say C or COM, which stands for common. One should say NO for normally open and one should say NC for normally closed. On these microswitches, the side tab is always the common, and the normally open and normally closed are at the bottom. If you want to have a component turn on when you press the switch, the wire should go from the power source to the normally open, and then the common should go to the component. The negative of the power source should then go to the other end of the component. To turn something off when the switch is pressed, the power source wire should go to the normally closed and the common should again go to the component, and so on. Finally, to switch off one thing and turn on another, the power source should go to the common, the normally open to the thing to turn on, and the normally closed to the thing to turn off. Make sure to double check where to solder the wires for your particular application. Before we start soldering, let's see what you'll need along with the microswitch. You will need some wire. I'm using red and black 5 amp wire, but you should use whatever suits your current needs. You will also need solder, wire strippers, and a soldering iron. I use a nice temperature control station, but a basic plug-in iron will work just as well. Heat shrink is a useful thing to have, especially for small switches, as it prevents short circuits between the terminals if any moisture gets in. Finally, one optional but very helpful item is a set of handy hands or clamps to hold the wires and switches while you are soldering them. Take your positive wire and strip the end about 8mm to reveal the bare wire. If it is multi-strand wire, you will need to twist the strands together and then tin it. Tinning is done by melting a little bit of solder onto the end of your soldering iron and then pressing it against the wire to heat it up. After about 5-10 to 10 seconds, press the solder against the strands to melt it into the wire. Now, put the switch into the clamp and find the correct terminal to solder to. It is a good idea to tin the terminal as well, just like with the wire. Put some solder onto the iron, heat up the tab and melt the solder onto the tab. Cut off about 5mm of heat shrink and slip it over the wire. Then, place the wire onto the terminal and heat it up to melt them together. As it cools, it is a good idea to clamp the wire to stop it from moving. If the joint looks frosted or weak, then the connection is bad and you should try again. Once the solder has had a few seconds to cool, slide the heat shrink over the wire. Now repeat all these steps for the other switch terminals remembering to refer to the previous segment showing what to solder for which application. Take a heat gun, lighter or other heat source and heat up the heat shrink in order to conform and stick it to the connection. And you're done! I've just connected up to a little LED here, and so when the switch is pressed, it lights up. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to see any more of my videos, click the links on the screen. 
If you have an idea for a future video, then comment below with your suggestion. Thanks for watching.